Hello Creative Birdie family. How are you guys doing? I'm doing much better today. I don't know when you're going to see this video. It is... Oh, it is Friday. Friday night actually. And it's almost midnight. Yesterday was Thursday and you got guys got a video that I actually recorded that same day and it went up that same day. It would make much more it would make more sense if I told you the date. Okay. So yesterday was May 2nd. And you guys got a video May 2nd. And today is May 3rd. But in actuality, I don't know when you guys will see this because it just depends on how far I go in creating my creating my art cards that I sell. I hate to sound repetitive, but it is a business, um, and a business that I enjoy. My lifelong business that I love. So, for those that hear me say it all the time, it's a business. It needs to be promoted. Um, I found this outside. It has no cap, but it's still nice and gooey, so I'm going to be able to use it. No cap. Hey, no growling. And I'm glad I found it because one of my saints, I like I like having saints in the house. His head broke off while I was <laughs> cleaning the house. I felt terrible. Then I found the glue that I had found outside a few weeks ago. And I was like, oh, I have that glue I found. So I started digging in there with this. And I was able to get the glue out and glue his head back. I like having my saints. I really do. I'm not religious, but I love having saints. Anyways, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna do while I talk. This hot pink has got me going, and so does this. So today is, like I said, the third May third, midnight, and I had a very, 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 very busy day, and I had a good day, and that's what I wanted to come back and tell you guys is, thank you for those that have told me to take a deep breath, and I'm very grateful for that. Um. But today's a new day, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I had a very busy day. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of things to do. And I did them all, and they all got done, and I just finished now. And it's midnight. And then, to be honest, oh, I could find a hundred more things that I should be doing or need to be doing. But my choice at this point in time, being midnight, I want to sit down and enjoy you guys and enjoy this, my art, my business, my life, my soul. But I'm not sure when you guys will see this. I don't even know if I said that. I could have already possibly said that a million times. Okay, so let's play. Let's do some playing. What do I want to do? I want to grab... Oh, right. I suggest that you guys, when you have cardboard, always have some accessible. Let me pull you guys out. There we go. It's always good to pull out. <laughs> I'm being so stupid. Um, always have some gesso card around you so that you can start new art cards. So I want to play with more than that, actually. And I want to mix, so let's do that. This one's practically empty. Mm, a mucus in my nose. Oh, I'm going to mix these two. One is way thicker than the other. I noticed that right away. Anyways, we'll leave this upside down somewhere <laughs> but I meant to say I wanted to mix it I don't even know which one I stuck in here already and that's not it I want to mix those two I want to mix my hot pinks I I I I I if I zoomed out the camera you guys would see my mess but it's a beautiful mess to me. It's a mess that tells a story. 
That's how I see it. I'll clean it up eventually. And it's not a mess mess. Like, I don't have a zillion things going on. It's just everything that has to do with these cards at this point in time. So I want to play with just mark making with whatever. But I want to use hot pink because that's going to make me and my day feel complete. I go through my day thinking about art and thinking about my creations and thinking about <laughs> the things I want to sit down and play with. I don't think of ideas. I just think of, oh, I want to use hot pink when I get home. Kind of like that. Hot pink just makes me happy. One day it's hot pink, another day it's a different color. Hot pink has been stuck on me for a while though. I would love some hot pink nails. Gel nails, that's the new thing, right? Everybody's doing gel nails, they last forever. I can't even get my nails painted because, or meaning, what I mean is, if I paint my own nails, they're destroyed within an hour. That's why I say some gel nails probably would work out. But then again, I'm scared of gel nails because I hear I hear that you can get fungus and who knows what. But then again, people say a lot of things about a lot of things. Not everything's true, right? Oh. I love it. This one here has a lot going on. It does. But I tend to feel that if it has a lot going on, just sometimes things like this adding just a little bit more kind of starts to even out the playing the the playing the the scenario. No. What am I trying to say? It's because I hear somebody in the kitchen. I'm distracted. You have to remember, I'm not just recording. You guys are in my real life. My real life is being recorded, basically. Everything that's happening in the background. I have to pay attention. This one's really cool already. But it can be cooler. So let's do that. What was I saying? Not scenario. What am I thinking? Oh, and I got rice going. Um, tomorrow we're getting going to a, f a birthday party and I was asked to bring six pounds of red rice. And if you guys know how to make red rice, you know how labor intensive it is. And so that's what I have going on the stove. And I got to do it again because I only have a particular amount of pots. Not by choice, but by just because that's all I have. So I'm using the same pan. I just got to wait for the first batch to finish and then do it again. So three pounds at a time. Six pounds of rice for about 30 people. Hungry people. 30 hungry people. You see how... It's very busy, but just adding that hot pink, it could be any color, really kind of makes all the noise make sense. It's like music. You put a certain beat in and everything just sounds right. Busy, right? So let's just throw all that to the back. And basically, if even if you were to whitewash this, that also would throw everything to the back. Back, round, ground. Ground or round? <laughs> it's whatever I want it to be because you I can't hear you guys complaining to me. That's not the right word. <laughs> oh, see? Now, is this a technique I use? Nope. 
I just came up with it right when I sat down because I wanted to play with hot pink. And when you love something so much and you breathe it, think it, do it, and dream it, it things just make sense. Just like a cook. Just like a cook. You know what spices would go with what. It may not make sense to your average person, but that person that has a passion for cooking will just come up with thoughts and ideas and give it a go and tinker with it until they create what tastes amazing. Like right now I was talking to my daughter's friend about making mango sticky rice. That is a Thai cuisine. I, I, I'm, I think it's a Thai cuisine. I could be wrong. Ouch. And I was explaining to um, her how to make it. And she says, yeah, she knew. She loves that stuff, but she didn't know how to make it. And I told her how to make it. And she's like, oh my God, that sounds so easy and so good. Makes me want some. So that's what I'm saying here. I don't, I can't say that I knew this technique would work. All I knew is that I wanted to come home and play with hot pink. And I drove from LA to Long Beach to Carson. The car's been from LA to Hollywood and all the way to Beverly Hills and back and forth. I've been from LA to Eagle Rock and back and forth. And this is all I've been thinking about today was, okay, I gotta get home and make that damn rice, but I wanna play with hot pink. And I gotta come back and tell everybody that I'm, I'm good. I'm good and thank you. I'm just grateful to have you guys and to be able to be able to say that you guys helped me by clicking on my video and allowing me to talk and entertain you guys and share with you guys at the same time. I shouldn't say entertainment, but it's company is what I mean, not entertainment. Um, it's like therapy. Well, it is therapy. Not it's like, it is therapy. To turn on a camera and just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. You guys should try it. Turn on a camera if you have one. Use your iPhone if you have an iPhone. And talk. Or if you don't even want to do that, just go in your room, close the damn door, don't care what people say, and talk to yourself. Or pretend you're talking to an audience. Because that's what I'm doing. Talking to an audience. That's what's in my mind. And sharing with you guys maybe things that you guys would like to implement on your stuff it, they're not, it's not perfect lines they're not straight it's just color I didn't know I had so much on my mind until I turned on the camera. I didn't know that these were going to come out as amazing as they are coming out. This one's already amazing and a lot of you guys are screaming, don't touch that card. <laughs> don't do it. Well, I feel the same, but I'm going to because I want to play with hot pink. That's what this video is going to put be called I want to play with hot pink with an accent and everything don't ask me where that accent is from it's a bohemian accent where is that from I don't know don't care I just want to play with hot pink let's say it's no accent it's just mine I love it I have not been disappointed yet But, you do see, since you guys are watching, <laughs> I started out hesitant. Here's the first one. I can tell I started out hesitant. I just went around this card. 
Then I started talking and talking and talking and talking. Then I started doing this. And I started liking it more. But that's how I started. You guys seen that? And started with a little bit. Not even knowing what I was going to do. And now I'm just going for it. And it's making... As long as it's making me happy. As long as you guys see that you guys can do things as well. And I'm sure you already do things. Now this is just something you can add to your guys' design and style. You know there's nothing wrong with loving what you do. Loving yourself. Nothing wrong with that. At all. I know that it's been said and people say it, but do you really believe it? And do you really think it? I do. I totally do. I only have a few fears in life that are real. Did I, at this point in time, I do not care to share? Because I don't want to put no shine on my fear. But I also don't... I, I have things that I don't fear. I don't fear public speaking. I don't fear playing in my art. I don't fear mistakes. I don't fear my natural face without makeup. I don't fear my thick thighs and thick curves and a bit of a belly. It's probably bigger than I think, but I don't even think it's that big and that's a good thing. But to somebody else, possibly it is, but that's not what matters. What matters to me, my personal take, is that's what matters, is how you see and view and love yourself. And I don't have fear in loving myself. And I don't have fear in living life in, in the way I want to live life, as long as I'm not harming anybody. I kind of feel that the more we talk about loving ourselves, it becomes, how can I say, natural to love yourself and normal. Let's normalize loving yourselves, not just pretend or say you do. Let's start doing it. And I don't mean this directed at nobody. I mean it directed to those that need to hear it. So if you hear this and you're like, you don't need to tell me that. Who do you think you are? Well, you're at a certain stage in your life where you might stay stuck in that stage or grow up. Or you might be in a stage in your life where you just needed to hear somebody say, love yourself. Know your fears and know the things that you're not fearful of. Yeah. I know that I need to hear it. So I can live it. And I know that I need to say it, so I can live it. We need more hot pink, maybe. Yeah, we do. Maybe I'll just work with what's in here and leave the other ones alone so that this one can be completely finished. Yeah. Excuse me. I need 
to grab every bit. Oh, Jackie's friend is make. She brought over. So sweet. She's such a sweet kid. Um, I would share something, but I'm not going to because I'm not sure if her mom watches me or not. Um, actually, I better not even say anything because just by me saying that actually is a red flag, so I'm not even going to say anything because then the person's going to put one and one together and I'm just going to stay quiet about that right now. I caught myself saying something I shouldn't say. Most of you guys are going to be confused, but I'd rather be on the safe side. I'm sure you can think of the situation. I don't want to put anybody in a certain situation if their mother watches me. So I'm just not going to say anything. But I um, could say, just so that it makes more sense, I'm going to enjoy a beverage, non-alcoholic, handmade, and it's going to be yummy. And I'm very grateful that she brought that over just to share. She did not have to at all. But she loves me, so she did. Is that Janet texting me? Lady, I'm recording. No, it's Mary. Mary Rodriguez. Oh, Mary, it's okay. I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you, though. Thank you for sending me that message. I know you watch every single one of my videos, and I'm very grateful that you do. You guys gotta watch out for Mary. Mary buys every card she sees. So all of these could already be purchased, so <sighs> I should number them so that you guys know what's what. You know what? We will number them, either now or after this video. So you'll see how this one has got a lot going on. It's got a lot going on. It's pretty, though, but it's prettier now. I just need to gather more paint. I've had this shirt for five years I've been creating in this shirt. So loads of my videos do go back and my hands are dis distinguished to me and this shirt is distinguished to my videos because <laughs> I wear it so much. It's funny, I find it funny, interesting, cute that a lot of you guys say, I knew it was you when I seen your hands. <laughs> So cute. There's that. Okay. I think I will add water to this here. Yes, I will. But I want to drink some water too. Oh, yeah. Ah. I'll add water to this later. Remember, we're going to be making some art tiles. Let me move these away. Remember, we're going to be making art tiles, so I have them next to me. So I can uh, actually dip my leftover hot pink onto these because we're going to make tiles. And I kind of want them to uh, remind me where these art tiles came from, which series of postcards, because they are a series of postcards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist called Creating Mixed Media Postcards Together. That is a whole series, months worth. I'm also, I also have other good videos you can watch that are in playlist. They're even single. You can autoplay my stuff as well. So, right down there, over to your right, right down there, above the suggested videos, there's this little um, uh, slider bar. It's 
very small. The slider bar on top is a circle. That's for autoplay. You can switch that on and off. If you watch a person's video and then all of a sudden another one starts, that's because you have autoplay on. Autoplay is a good thing for me and all YouTube creators because that means you'll watch plenty of videos of our on our channel that we have if we've uploaded plenty of them. I have. I have over 900 videos. Um, it helps. It makes us some money. Not a lot, but some. And every view counts. Every thumbnail counts. Every thumb down, thumbs down counts. It doesn't matter if you thumbs up or thumbs down. Just that putting a thumbs down is mean. It really is mean. It's heartbreaking. Sometimes you might put the video, your thumbs down on the wrong video or at the wrong time of that creator's life and it might affect them that day for the whole day. And if you have a conscience, why would you want to affect a human in a negative way? I don't get it. I really don't get, get it, but I do also. I'm not stupid. I understand that that does exist. We wouldn't have so many terrible things happening if we didn't have terrible people. I don't live in a fantasy land. I know what's out there. But I also know that I can choose to come into my art room and be as positive for myself, for my minutes of my life, and for you guys. For sure. Or I can be like other creators where all they do is complain about what went wrong in all their day. Blah, blah, blah. To me, if to me, doing it on a daily basis, every single dang video that you have out, all you do is complain and say, I, I hate this saying, but I dislike when people say, of course it would happen to me. If it was going to happen to anybody, it would be me. To me, I think that by saying that, you're creating that. <sighs> if you're saying that daily to yourself and you're saying that daily to your videos you put up, I choose not to have that energy. Have I done that? Yes. Can I do that? Yes. Do I do that? Yes. But I choose right now in this living time, like right now at this moment, not to do that. And most times I don't. I'm growing up, you guys. I'm growing up. And I'm growing up and you guys can watch me grow up. Because of my videos. You guys can watch me grow up. And mature. Right along with you guys. If you choose to mature. <laughs> I am mature, but I have fun at the same time. I'm a very fun person to be around. I'm also... Uh, I think that I'm a great friend to the right people. To the right people. Okay. So... I'm going to end this video, excuse me, but I am also going to say that you're going to see another part because I think I want to add, maybe, there's a possibility that I will come back and add, a th uh, not a third because there's over, I don't know, 20, 30 colors already on here. But I do want to add another color, possibly. What will it be? I'm kind of thinking. For this series, I want to add some brown. I think so. And let me try it out before I say I do. Um, oh. Let's see, let's see. What is this one? Uh, ground espresso, you know you're getting older when you look at things and you pull it away from you. <laughs> yeah, me. 
think for this series I do want to do the the brown um, edging. That's not brown enough for me and I just got stinking paint on there. Make sure I get that off. I want darker than that. Is there darker than that? Vintage photo. Oh, you know what I want to do that I've never done? That I've seen you guys do? I've seen it done. The glass that Janet gave me. So once these are dry, I'm going to get my... What is that thing called? The blender? It's around here somewhere. I know I didn't throw... I, of course I didn't throw it away. I know I didn't put it away because this thing the glass and blend the sides. That's what I want to do. So yes, there's going to be another video. And then after that video, if I feel that satisfied, then we'll start um, stalking Pinterest and looking at images and creating images within images in my own mind and putting down what I see that, that inspires me to create my style of postcards. So, I mean, we're off to a good start already. I believe I am. I believe. Yeah. This is, this is me. My style. I don't know what name it has. Eclectic. Interesting. <laughs> If this was sold on paper, if it was sold on tile, if it were pants, even a blouse in any one of these or all of them mixed together fabric, I would wear that. This is me. You guys are looking at my soul. This is my soul. Every single time I create, it's my soul. My soul expressing itself with, with color. Okay. Maybe I can get all of these videos clipped together and put this out, oh, maybe Saturday morning or Saturday night or afternoon. We'll see. Um, it just depends if I get it done or not, if I get trapped on YouTube or trapped in my emails. Mm, what, was I, what else was I going to say? Hmm. Oh, those that watch me and have been encouraging me and the ones that I encourage and we are just a community, be grateful and say thank you to Janet in the comments down below. If it wasn't for her, my videos would be screwed up still because she's the one that um, funded my replacement of my batteries. She's funded a lot of the art, art supplies that I use. Um, lately, in the past, it's been other people, Lisa Beard, uh, Stacy Evans, uh, um, Kelly Donovan has given me quite a few things. She, actually, I re now remember Kelly Donovan gave me the bigger one of this, the bigger one, but I have only one and I never got re pad replacements for that, so that's why I don't use it. Um, but I will when I either make myself pads, because I just recently learned you can make pads out of felt, but I don't know if it's going to be the same thing, but I, I'll try. Um, many, 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 many of you guys have, have sent me supplies. Angela, um, Angie, oh my god, there's it's endless. And if you're ever interested in watching the supplies that have been sent to me, so I have a playlist called Create a Birdie Mail. You can see all the things that have been sent to me. And you can also go watch my first ever video where it's me and my daughters finding a rat's tail in the toilet. And us never experiencing that before. It seems like it's a common thing. I've never experienced that or heard of that. And we freaked out and we were thinking aliens were t attacking us. And that's probably my first video. And if that's not the first video, my first video would be probably of my dogs. And then my actual first video for arting would be my nail polish flowers. That took off. 
I, I got very lucky that that was something that took off like that. It's got so many views. It's funny that the next video that has so many views, I think I'm almost at a million. I'm not positive right now, but I think I'm almost at a million. Or maybe I did hit a million, I'm not sure, is the punch needle that I never was able to buy the fabric for to actually see if it really did work. Because in that video I do remember saying, um, this would probably work if I had the right fabric. It's a specific fabric. And then you put it inside um, one of those round things that you use for crochet, I think it is. No, not crochet. Needle point embroidery. I know what they're called. I just don't know right now. You open it. It looks like a dream catcher and you put fabric and then you close it and you adjust it and then you're able to needle point. There's a particular fabric that I need to do that needle pointing with. That video has gotten a lot. Yet I don't do anything in that video. All I do is complain. <laughs> and yeah, if you guys have been with me for a while or haven't, go see what my first video was. And also remember, the videos that you do watch, I've grown up a lot. I now have life experience, loads of more life experience than I had then. You gotta remember, I'm 44 now. With three adult children, the oldest being almost 30 years old, and I'm 44. Yeah. So I had kids young. And my relationship is a very old relationship as well, and it's still going, thankfully. And it's a good relationship, thankfully. Anyways, I'm just grateful to have a space and people to come and listen to me talk. A place where I can come do that. I'm grateful to YouTube for giving me a platform. Um, I just recently applied to be picked for YouTube up and coming. I got declined, but that's okay. It's not about that, even though that does help, since I do try to make money this way. Um, I just like having a place to come and talk and be heard. And that you guys have a choice to hear me or not. You guys can pause. But that said, if you haven't gone way back, there if you click on my name, right down there, right there, click on my name, my channel name, if you click that, a whole new page, which would be called the home page, pops up. And you have options of watching videos, playlist. Oh, you have options, right? What was I getting to? Oh, right over here on the side, it'll be it'll say newest to oldest or oldest to newest or most popular or more viewed, most viewed or something like that. You can click that and go to oldest. And it'll take you to my oldest video if you're interested in seeing that. Then you'll hear you'll you'll take the journey of five years with me if you want of seeing my growth in life and with you guys and in relationships with my family have grown and they've grown to the positive except for sisters they still don't I'm they exist because I am somebody's sister and somebody's my sister. There's two of them. Yeah, I, it's been that long that I don't even I don't even even remember. But those don't still don't exist. So yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh if you go way back, you'll get a hold of what I've grown up to be. And become and still growing up and my beliefs today can actually I believe continue to improve hopefully God gives me more more days to live all right guys I'll talk to you later didn't know I was gonna get that deep but it did and I can <laughs> I'll see you guys later bye